Hi guys, in this presentation, we shall learn about little Indian and big Indian concepts and we'll see how, how we can tell a machine is a little Indian or a big Indian. So before going to learn, we should know what is little Indian and big Indian. For example, if I have an, a number and its, its value is like this or in hexadecimal, okay. Now, in the memory, how it you want to store? There are two possibilities. Okay, for see we know that is an hexadecimal. For double for two digits in hexadecimal, it requires eight bits. Okay, so total we require thirty two bits, which means four bytes. So I can divide into four bytes. One so consider this is as a case one in which the address is somewhat like thousand. This is just for uh, for the time being. Let us consider the thousand. Okay, this is thousand and one. This is 1002 and this is 1003. So the same as say, okay, I can store the data as it is like 33, 99, 88, 44. Or I can store in this way 44, 88, 99, 33. Okay, this is case 2. Okay, so if there is a number like this, okay, which we can store either in this form or in this form, if this lower byte is stored in lower address which means see what is the lo lower byte is here this is the lower byte okay here this is the lower byte okay is this is the lower address no lower address is this right so whenever this lower byte is stored in lower address which means in this case then it is called little indian okay whenever the lower byte stores at higher address it is called a big indian in two ways you can store either either in this way or in this way okay so the in this case it's known as little indian in this case it is known as big indian now how to write a program so that we can check whether it is little indian or big indian i have an integer variable consider integer variable as a in which i'll store which means there are four bytes of memory is allocated. So consider this is 90, this is 89, this is 88, and this is 87. It's considered is its address is like this. Okay. So you have already seen that there are two possible ways to store the data. Okay. 0000001 or 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Either of these two cases. Now, I'll check whether it is little Indian or not. If it is not little Indian, it's a big Indian. That is my conclusion. Okay. I, I'll use a character pointer. Okay. Character pointer in which I'm going to store the address of the A, which means, see, integer gives the lower address of the four bytes, which means 87 it will give okay so in a it has 87 okay if it is as 87 then in p also we got 87 as an address okay now what we have to do is by default if you store the address of a it means the lower address will be given to the pointer now i'll check whether the whether the value is 1 or not if it is 1 then it is little indian or else it is a big indian okay here we use character pointer because we need only one byte of data to be tested okay if this is equal to 1 which means it's little indian if it is not stored in the form of little indian then this is not matching with 1 which means it will go to as an and this condition fails and it will go control goes to here and it is known as a big indian okay we'll see the program whether it, how it works okay you can see that here in this a variable one is stored okay so one is stored in the least byte which means in memory there are four bytes right in that in that memory the least address which have been there in that place one is stored and you can see here the address of that lower byte is stored in the pointer called p now we are checking the what is the value in that pointer right in the pointer there will be address and if you if you dereference it we'll get the value okay if that is equal to one 
it is known as little indian or else it is big indian let's compare and see whether how it works you can see that my machine is an little indian okay so to get a visual proof i'll I have written a code let's check out you can see i have created a function called print print mem data okay so this is the one which is responsible to print all the addresses and with res with respect to the data which is stored in that address okay now we'll check how it how exactly it works so i'll place the data like double one double two double three double four okay so these are all hex hexadecimal values okay so each in in each digit represents four bits okay we can see that here the address is like b4 b5 b6 b7 okay remaining which is the in the left side of this b4 b5 are common okay so i'm considering b4 b5 b6 b7 and you can see that the lower address is b4 in that we, we got the 44 which is the low lower byte of the data you can see i'll show the data you can see here double four is the lower byte data which is stored in the variable called a okay so i can simply say that here the lower byte is stored in the lower address so it is a little indian okay so this is how it works okay i hope you understood what i've said Thank you.